Uh, Go ahead. We are moaning. Moaning. And this is. We're on records in my life. Records in my life. You think you know him, but you don't. Guys, thanks very much for being on the show. Thank, Thank you. you. Boise, okay? Yeah, it seems cool. Boise, good? Okay. Yeah. Tell us a bit about your new, for those not in the know, your latest release. Just... It's a self-titled album, Moaning, by Moaning, and it was recorded by Alex Newport in sunny Los Angeles. It's out on Sub Pop. So tell me a bit about Alex Newport. How did the relationship come about, and what, what bands or albums did he work on or are you a fan of? Alex found us on the internet because of a music video we put out, and he contacted us and asked if he could record our album, which was really cool. And he recorded uh, at the drive-in and um, Block Party. And he mixed uh, Death Cab for Cutie album. And he's worked on too much stuff. He's got a website with his resume if you're (laughs) interested. Give us an album, you know, one of your favorites. If each one of you could, that would be great. Tender Buttons by Broadcast is a golden golden album for me which has been referenced a lot of times it's interesting because it's not like a mainstream mainstream album but it's influenced by musicians totally yeah yeah yeah, I saw broadcast actually in high school Um, oh did you I did yeah great I bought a shirt but it doesn't fit me anymore it's a youth large (laughs) (laughs) and were they they were playing like an all ages venue or they were playing at the Troubadour in Los Angeles Atlas Sound yeah I went with Atlas Sound. Yeah. Great double bill. It was cool. <laughs> How'd you get in? I think it was all ages, yeah. It was all ages? I think most of those big theaters in yeah. Los Angeles are all ages. Really? Yeah. I was a pretentious little high school student. I was going to so. say, you're listening to broadcast and Atlas yeah. Sound in high school. <laughs> what a little, you must have been a bit of a brat, I guess, yeah, right? I was an asshole. <laughs> I know. I guess. Well, I guess we had the internet in high school, yeah. so we did have that. We had That's right. That you helped. just, you Google good music and then you figure it out. <laughs> For me, I guess uh, Slow Dive uh, Slovaki, is that how you say it? Slovaki. Slovaki. We'll have to edit this. <laughs> slow Dive Slovaki. <laughs> <laughs> it's good though. It's a- <laughs> that album made me cry the first time I heard it. The, the first lyric is, listen close and don't be stoned. I was really stoned <laughs> and I just started crying immediately. I guess for me, just all kind of all of those factory records bands. And there's a lot of bands from Factory Records that had maybe one record or one EP. There's this band called called uh, Stockholm Monsters that has like one EP that I think is really amazing. But that just as a as a scene I think was really influential on me when I first discovered it. Obviously Joy Division and New Order being two big ones, but there's a bunch of other smaller bands that came out of that that I really like. Awesome. If you guys could have been in the studio for the recording of an album, older one, newer one, which which would it be for you? Uh, one fifty four by Wire. It's mine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Celebrity That's skin. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> I think that'd be. There's a lot of drama there. With Courtney Love, no. <laughs> there couldn't be any drama with Courtney Love. Well, she's she's the cool one. Do you like <laughs> Courtney Love? I haven't met her in person. She's probably really nice when she's on. When she's on point, she's probably a pretty... She's cool. Yeah, I, I, I think, know that. I think if she was a man, everyone would leave her alone. Yeah. That's She'd be like Gigi Allen. I think I would like I to be a little be less, less extreme. I think yeah. she'd be less abrasive than Gigi <laughs> Allen, but I get what you're going but for. People would think she... Or she'd be like Ozzy. People would be, like, people would be into the freakiness. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah. So give us a shout out to one of your friends' bands, which we don't know. I'm gonna shout out Lunch Lady. Yeah, we like Lunch shout Lady. Shout out Lunch Lady. From LA. Lunch Lady is great. Uh, What's the name of their record? It's probably called Lunch Lady by Lunch Lady. <laughs> I don't know, it's a cassette right now. I, it I, just came out. Yeah. Cool. 
Um, Froth. Shout out Froth. Froth are great. Uh, the band Lithics from oh, yeah. Portland just Lithics. signed to Kill Rock Stars, I think. Nice. They have an album coming out soon that's really I good. assume is going to be really fantastic. We want to get a, like we want to get the party started. You know, we've we've rented a ballroom at the Hyatt, and uh, you're DJing. What's a good record to get the uh, to get people on the parquet? Get the party started. Um, I don't know. Probably in that situation, probably Purple Rain, just because enough people know it. Yeah, controversy it's a popular... is good too. But controversy is scandalous. Ooh, sexy. Uh, Stra- Strawberry Switchblade. Their cover of Jolene. Oh, yeah. Have you heard it? I've heard the song, but not the Strawberry Switchblade one. The cover That's is cool. Dead. You said yeah. Jolene, right? Yeah. 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 I, know I feel that like song. it's people would recognize the song, but it would be a new fun dance version for them. That to whole enjoy. record is pretty pretty danceable. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if anyone would know it, but I think I'd throw on some change. Probably oh, probably yeah. throw on the track Mutual Attraction. I just feel like it's a nice a nice dance song. Excellent. Well, th- yeah. guys, thank you so much for being. I hope it wasn't too painful. I, uh, that was it. That was fun. I appreciate. I mean, appreciate I think I was lying though when I said celebrity scam. I guess. Yeah, I think you were too. Think, yeah. <laughs> Dookie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're like, hmm. So we know three chords. Which one should we play? (laughs)